Okay guys, workout time. Glad you've come to join us. So it's Monday morning, 10 o'clock. All right, we're gonna run three different programs. One program a day, different program on Wednesday, and a different program on uh, Friday. The warm up and we cool down will be very much the same. Uh, just so you get used to that bit, all right? And I'm not having to teach you loads and loads each time. So, first thing I want you to think about, posture, all right? I want you, you know, you've heard the military saying, shoulders back, all right? Head up, shoulders back. That's so unnatural to do. However, what I want you to think about is the bottom of your sternum and your belly button. I want you to think about just elevating that bottom of your sternum, your thyroid process, away from your belly button. Okay, and that makes you stand automatically in a much better posture. Your chin sits back where it should be, shoulders sit back where they should be. However, it still feels unnatural, doesn't it? Yeah, because our lifestyles have made us into bad posture. So, a lot of our exercises that we're going to do, we're going to try and combat this. Alright, fun dabby dozy. So, we're going to start off with a little warm up because we need to mobilise joints, get the synovial fluids flowing, and get our muscles nice and warm before we start. Alright, so all I want you to do to start with is just some nice little arm circles. That's it. So make sure you fix shoulder width apart. Knees are soft, so you've not got locked legs. Knees are soft. And just slowly rotate the arms. That's it. And take them back again. That's great stuff. So keep that going for me. That's it. I just want to set my trainer away. Okay. Fantastic. So from there, we're just going to do some little side bends. So keep it though you've got in between two panes of glass. Let me turn sideways so you can see what I mean. I'm not bending forwards, I'm just trying to reach the side. So I'm mobilizing that spine now. Now I know you've been moving around at home, you haven't just suddenly materialized in front of your TV. So you've mobilized the legs for me already. That's great. Okay, so from there, just bring the arms up to shoulder height. So you're in that position, you can come straight off if you want. Just nice gentle turns now. Just gentle. So come to the middle, stop. Hold the side, come back, stop. Middle, side. That's it. Great. Fantastic. Okay, so from there, soften those knees again. I just want you to do some little punches out front. Yeah, we'll turn sideways so you can see I'm not snapping them out. I'm not locking elbows. I'm just punching out front nice and steady. We're just getting things warmed up a little bit. Punch them up in the air. That's it. And back out front again. Great stuff. I've got a little hip shimmy going on as well. That's it. And back up from above. Great stuff. Okay, and then from there, I just want you to do some little side steps. That's it. So I'm just stepping to the side now. So I'm really starting to just warm the body up a little bit. That's it. Fantastic. And then as you're doing that, all we do is bring one foot. To your bum as you're stepping it. Great. Super duper. Looking good. From there, guys, start bringing a little press from chest. So, what we're doing, up, we're building this little exercise up a bit, making it harder, building the intensity up. That's it. Fantastic. Okay. So, from there, we're just going to launch it forward. That's it. So little lunges forward. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the side. This time I want you to start tapping to the back, raising the arms up, shoulder height. That's it. If this next bit is a bit too hard for you, that's okay. You just keep doing this and reach a little bit further. So reach further. So for those that want it a little bit harder, what we're going to do is just start doing that. So it's very similar. You should be starting to feel a bit warmer now. That's it, great stuff. So from there we're just going to do a little bit of stretching. Okay. So we're going to start off with the hands on the small of the back. Squeeze it back. Really stretch that chest out. And relax that. This time I want you to try and squat down. And as you squat down, you're reaching arms right back, so we're opening the shoulders up. From there, and come up nice and high, and lean it back. Okay, squat it down, come up, lean back. So we're opening all this up. Yeah, this is what we call dynamic stretching. That's it, great stuff. 
Can I stop? Okay, so I'm going to go in the workout, but what I want to do, I want you to learn what we call abdominal bracing. Because one of the most important muscles in our body, and it's one of the easiest damage, it's one of the, the ones that's never really worked directly, is our transverse abdominis. So we need to target it. Alright? So, what I want you to do, lie flat on the floor, okay? And just relax. When you take your thumbs, the body width of your hips, put your thumbs into there, just inside it. And I want to think, you need to imagine you're on the toilet. And whilst you're on the toilet, you're going to try and stop the flow, okay? So just squeeze to stop the flow, and you should feel that muscle tighten up. Now what we don't want is you to try and ram it on. Yeah, that's not what we want. Just squeeze it on a little bit. About 10-15% power. That's abdominal bracing. That's the muscle we're targeting in all of this. Okay? So bring yourself back up. What we're going to do is 40 seconds on. 20 seconds recovery. Alright. We're going to do 5 exercises. And then we're going to progress on. Go back through it again. Okay, so we're going to start straight away with five seconds of punching. All right, so with these punches, we're going to be quite rapid, nice and rapid. But what we're not doing is snapping the arms. I want nice soft knees, feet slightly wider than shoulder width, so you've got a nice soft base, soft knees. Keep that abdominal bracing done, and you're snapping the punches out. Okay, get ready, guys. Get ready. And we're away. Snap them out. Let's go. Come on. It's working, keep that abdominal brace on. Working, working, working. Keep it going, keep it going. This is great, this great little exercise to get us going. Getting our heart rates up. It'll have us uh, blowing a little bit. The faster you can snap these out, the harder the workout is for you. That's it, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. That's it. Remember, keep that abdominal brace on for me. Let's keep that working. Keep going. We're waiting for the beep. Let's keep going. There you go, 20 seconds recovery. Okay, so next exercise. You're going to need your chair. This is single leg sit to stand. Okay, four seconds. So we're going to go left leg first. We're going to stand up with it. And stand up, sit back down. Right leg, stand back up, sit back down, brace those abs, up, down, brace, up, and down. Okay, believe it or not, 65% of 60 year olds don't have sufficient strength in their dominant leg to raise them out of a chair. Okay, yeah, so let's keep that going, keep that abdominal brace, chest elevated. That's it. And recover. So, next exercise. Trunk forward bends. So we're going to do this to our breathing. So, it's going to be arms nice and high. Going to breathe out, coming down. Lower the arms all the way down. Breathe in, bring the arms up first. And up, let's go. Breathe out. Keep breathing out. Breathe in. And then come up. Breathe out. Breathe in. That's it. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep breathing. Try not to hold it. Breathe out. Breathe in. Arms first till the can't go no more. Then come up. Sit and recover. Our next exercise, guys, is this plank. Alright, that's just worked all the back posterior core. Plank now. We're going to rest on the arms. On our toes. If you can't do that, you can rest on your knees. If you can, you're going to adopt that position and hold it. Okay? So it's going to be five seconds hold. And we're away. And hold that. Try and keep the body all in line, nice and in line. Keep the abdominal brace on. Hold that position. 
That's it, no good. You might start feeling like you're shaking a little bit. If you're struggling to hold it, then go back down onto your knees. Then maintain it from on your knees. This is where we find out if we're being functionally strong still. Or we start going weak because of our lifestyle. Doing good. And next. We're going to stay there though. Our next exercise is what they call a bird dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise, keep it between 12 big breaths. Raise my right arm, take my left leg out. Hold, two, three, four, five. Down. In, off we go. Hold, two, three, four, five. Down, and swap over. Don't let that pelvis drop. Three, four, five. And down. So you're keeping that pelvis tipped down all the time. Three, four, five. That's it. Try to keep the spine in line all the time. Three, four, five. And down. That's too hard for you. Either to remove the arm or remove the leg. And down. Four, five. That's it. Now relax. For 40 seconds now of punching. Now ready, five seconds. Remember, feet shoulder width apart, very soft knees. And off we go. Snap them out, snap them out. Let's go. Snap them there. All right, all right, we fit. Let's go again. Snap them out. Needs to be on 20. Keep that abdominal brace on. Keep snapping them out. These programs will get harder, but obviously we could have total beginners in here. Although I'm giving you some easier options to do. So let's keep going. Ten seconds left. Keep that abdominal brace on. Snap them right in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So not that I little want and recover. Okay, so we're back to our seat. Get your chair ready. I'm going to start off with that left leg. Five seconds to go. Remember, chest elevated. Abdominal brace on, left leg first, off we go, and up we go, back down, right leg, up we go, and down. If you want to make it that bit harder, come up on the left, go down on the left, up on the right, go down on the right, up on the left, down on the left. Keep that abdominal brace on, on the right, down on the right, up on the left. Down on the left, up on the right, down on the right, up on the left, down on the left, up on the right, okay, recover. Trunk forward bends, feet shoulder width apart, remember, do tip breathing, five, four, arms up. Two, one, breath in, breathe out, go down as far as you can, then lower the arms. Feel the backs of those hamstrings. Breathe in, bring the arms first. Take the dinner off that tip, upper back, then come up. Breathe out. You can do this as slow as you want, if that's your breathing rate. If you've got good breathing rate, you can do it really slow. It's not about the number we do, it's about the quality. And down. And up. Bring it up. And breathe out. And then let the arms come down. Really feel those hamstrings. That's it. And relax. Now we're back to plank again. Okay, so again we're trying to hold that core. If you need to, 
Put a pillow under your knees. That'll make it any better. Okay, plank position. And up we go. Let's hold. If you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, take your legs apart. Harder, bring them in. Harder still. Raise the leg up. So you all crawl. It's up to you what you do. Just keep that held. Breathe freely, but make sure you've got that abdominal brace on. Yeah, you're stopping the flow. Rather than your abs doing all the work, get yeah, that transverse abdominus doing the work. Let it hold you back in. Should be nicely in line. Perfect line. Ten seconds to go. Let's hold it. And three, two, one, and. That's it. 20 seconds recovery. Then we're going to do our bird dog. So we're back down again. Okay. Five, four, right arm, left leg, one, let's go. Remember, abdominal brace. Two, three, four, five, down. Two, three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five. And down. And change. Two, three, four. Don't let that pelvis tilt. Yeah, keep it. Upper pelvis. Push back. Don't let it sag down, so it's sagging the back. Keep that back up, we'll bring that leg up back the leg. And relax. And relax. 20 seconds. Now we're back to punches again. And here we go. Punches. Big shoulder width, wide the shoulder width apart. Snap them in and out, in and out, in and out. As far in as you can, as far out, without blocking the elbow. Yeah, let's work it. Come on, work that up, keep that chest up, head up. That's it, keep it going. Keep them working. That's it. Remember, these programs, they're not made to be busters. Yeah, if you want it a bit easier, you just slow it down. But, get nothing for nothing in this world. So you've got to drive these in. And rest. 20 seconds rest. Back to the legs. So chest elevated. Core embrace. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Left leg up. Left leg down. Right leg up. Right leg down. Left leg up. Left leg down. Right leg up. Right leg down. Left leg up. Left leg down. Right leg up. Right leg down. Left leg up. Left leg down. Right leg up. Right leg down. Oops. Left leg up. Left leg down, keep that abdominal brace on, so it helps you hold that balance. Down. Up. Down. Do the right to finish. And down. That's it. Slide that back out of the way. Ten seconds to go. Come forward bends again. Two, one, arms up, breathe out. Take it down, as long as you can, feel the hamstrings, then let the arms come down. Breathe in, arms up as far as you can, then come up. Slowly you can do it, brilliant. Breathe out, feel the hamstrings, then come down with the arms. Arms up, as high as you can, squeeze those shoulder blades, and back up. And down. Take that one arm down, and up, and bring them up. Arms down. And down. Breathe in, arms up. And up. And with rest. Now on with the plank again. 
This is third time through. We're only going to do one more time through on this one. Five seconds, four, three, two, and go. Hold that position. Squeeze, stop that flow. Transverse abdominals. Keep that body on nice and in line. And that's it. Remember, if you need an easier option, go onto your knees. Ten seconds gone. Doing well. Let's keep it working. So if you want it a bit harder, raise a leg in the air. And then just keep alternating those legs. Last 15 seconds. Keep it held. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Stay down on the floor. Got our bird dogs to do. Okay. 10 seconds to go. Remember, don't let that pelvis tilt like that, so it's sagging at the throat here. Keep that up. Squeeze, abdominal brace, and go right arm, left leg. Hold, hold, and change. Opposite. Hold, hold, change. Opposite. Hold and change. Opposite. That's it, and change. And change. And change. And change. Superb. Then you recovery again. Remember, it might be designed for the over 50s, but it is a workout that anybody can do. It's going to benefit them, the whole whole structured workout. Also, it's going to help improve posture and alignment. Okay, last time through. So we've got our punches, and let's go. Back again, full arm range. Snap them out, snap them out. Face should be shoulder width apart, just slightly wide so you've got a solid base. Knees soft. Yes, yeah, so the legs are not locked. Keep that abdominal brace on. Chest elevated. Keep that working. Last 15 seconds. Keep it going. Stop short or stop short of locking those arms out. Don't want to damage any elbows. Well, this is the last time through. Okay, recovery. Don't get out of state again. Let's start right leg this time. Abdominal brace. Three, two, chest elevated. And up. And down. Left up. Left down. Right up. Right down. Left up, left down, right up, right down. See how I put my left the other foot out, front, it also aids that balance as well. Brace, up, turn to that, and then goes down. Up, and down. See, let's keep it going, guys. Working well. Quite warm in here. And down. And down. Left leg, and down, and rest. I need that chair now. Trump forward bends. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Arms up, breathe out. Take it down, feel those hamstrings. Then let the arms drop. Breathe in. As high as you can, squeeze the shoulder blades, then lift up as well. Massively work on the upper back. Breathe out. Slow it down. Hamstrings. Bring those arms down. Breathe in. Raising the arms first. Then come on up. And out. And up. Let's get one more in. And out. And up. 
Great stuff. Plank next, guys. Last two exercises. Get ready. In row plank. Hand hold. Remember your options. If you want it easier? Drop to your knees. Make sure you've got that abdominal brace on. Though. Drop to your knees. If you want it a bit harder? Raise a leg up. And then just hold for five seconds. Then swap legs. One doing well. Working well now. Hopefully you can start to feel some muscle work being done. That's 20 seconds gone. 20 to go. Let's hold it. Let's hold it. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Remember bird dog next. So hold that position. Bring yourselves up. Should be feeling that muscle work all being done. Even though slightly on your chest, back, upper back, all correctional. Hands down, right arm first, and go. Remember, keep that pelvis backwards. Hold, hold, and down. Change. Abdominal brace, and down. Hold, and down. And up. And up. And up. And up. And up. Recovery. First time we'll cool down then, guys. Done well there, worked out really well. Okay, fantastic. And stop that now. Okay, so cool down. All we do to start off with, just start sidestepping. So those arms, hopefully you've had a little, good little workout in there. So it'll be 20 minutes longer, and then we'll warm up, and then we're we'll gonna have a little cool down long, and we're we'll gonna do some good flexibility work. Okay, that's it. Okay, so lose the arms now. Just keep that side stepping going. Superb. So nice big deep breaths in. That's it. Keep this chest elevated. Okay, and from there just bring it to a march on the spot. So we're just marching on the spot. Okay. Big breaths. Stimulate your body to relax. Super. Okay. Bring those legs down. Okay. Fantastic. Alright. So we're going to have a little stretch off to start with. First stretch we're going to do is going to involve a wall or a door jam if you've got a door jam. So imagine this is my door. Okay, so I'm going to use my door jab. I'm going to put my elbow 90 degrees against that door jab. And what I'm going to do is come left leg forward. So right arms up, left legs forward. What I'm going to do from there, lean forward into it. So I start to feel a stretch across the front of my chest there. And then I'm going to turn away at the same time. That's it, great. So we're getting a good stretch across our chest now, our pectorals. From there, straighten up. And then I want you to go forward so. And now you're really going to feel it pulling up. And now we start to still stretch our chest, but we're also stretching our pectoral minor, which is a massive muscle for, well, it's not a massive muscle, a little muscle, but it's a big player in bad posture. And relax that. Then you're going to do exactly the same again, opposite way this time. So left arm, right leg forward. Yep, ease that in. So you feel the stretch. And then we're going to turn away. Try to turn those shoulders away. That's it. We're going to hold that. Hold. 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 Straighten up. And then go forward and down. So I'm just really going forward at an angle. Really feeling that stretch of the chest again. 
and I'm relaxed up. Great stuff. So we're only targeting certain muscles on this stretcher because we're trying to sort our posture out. Our upper back muscles, because they generally become taut, lengthened and weakened, I don't want to touch them. We've worked them, all right? The ones we're definitely going to touch, hip flexors, all right? So, okay, holding you all, okay? What we're going to do is go left leg forward, right leg back, right hand on the wall, okay? Wide stance, all right? I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, turn that front foot inside, just for a bit of balance. From there, drop the back knee down. So I'm not going forward on the front knee, I'm dropping the back knee down. Feel that stretch there. From there now, all right, take your right hand up to your head. And what I want you to do is turn and arch away. Look away, so you increase that stretch. So whenever stretch those sartorias, which is renowned for causing us problems. Now relax out. I'm going to change opposite way. Alright, so this time I would, I would be left leg back, right leg forward. Yeah, my right hand holding the wall for support. Alright, let me do it off here. And that's how you can see. Right hand there. So again, wide stance. Make sure that front knee doesn't go down once that ankle. Drop the back knee down. Feel a stretch on the hip flexor. Left hand up to head. Turn and look away. And relax that, come back. Hamstrings. So, place your right foot so the heel of your right foot is level with the toes but at hip distance apart. So you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Like that. Take your hands out in front of you. Put the palms together. From there, keep the front leg straight. Go as though you're going to sit down on the chair. Keep those hands up and elevate, back nice and straight. Feel that stretch come up to the hamstring straight away. That's it, great stuff. Hold, hold, hold. And unlock, opposite leg. Same again, hands up, front leg straight. Sit down on the chair. That's it, keep that back nice and straight. And looking forward slightly down. I just keep checking this. The camera to make sure I'm in right position, please. As in, you can see me. And relax that. And this time, I want you to put both feet together. Okay? Big chest, hands on thighs, bend at the waist, come all the way down to your toes. I don't want you to bend over and touch your toes, I want you to keep a nice flat back, so fix those hamstrings. Yeah, but what I want you to do is try and turn those knees in this time. So really feel it on the outside. And relax that. Big wide stance, keeping the back foot down, heel down, bring the body in line with that back leg. Imagine I'm Eddie the Eagle doing the ski jump. Two feet face and forward, back down. Or if you want, you can go to a wall, hands on the wall, into that position. If you do that, what I want you to do this time is see it. This is our left leg back, right foot down to the side. You sit yourself over to it as well. Don't let that heel come off the floor. And opposite leg. That one's a bit tight on me. That's it. Great stuff. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Next one I want to target is our gloves. Um, well, we'll do our adductors first. So wide stance. Big chest for me. Squat down. Like that. Let your hands run down, keeping that big chest on side, big chest, arms inside now, push the legs apart, try and squat a little bit further. Feel the stretch of those inductors, inductors on the inside of the legs, and come back up. That's what I'm going to do. Take the wall, I want you to come as close into the wall as you can. Put one foot onto the wall, so that your tibia, your lower legs, horizontal. Put your, so that's my right, put my left knee over it, and sit, let it relax, let everything relax, let everything relax. If you find you can't feel a stretch across the butt, you might be feeling it pulling on the inside of the leg, and that's generally because you're tight there, your sartorius is tight, because it crosses over a couple of joints, 
and feeling the pull down it. Also, what are you doing to some time? Try and stick with it though. Stick with it. Hold that. We're stretching out on the foot here. If you don't feel it enough, bring yourself a bit closer. So there's a gap between the lower back and just let it all sag and relax. And then swap legs. Do exactly the same. And then relax that. Bring yourself over. Bring yourself up to your feet. And that was our first workout. Be a different one on Wednesday, different one on Friday. Um, but we'll, we'll be repeating these workouts again. They will get progressively harder. So we'll learn from the time. We will put another set in and do five sets. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you feel quite good, got a bit of a workout. And let's see you all again on Wednesday. Fantastic. See you later, guys.